Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jamie here. So, um, decided to do sort of different type of video for you guys. I'm actually going to be doing a, a review, a unboxing sort of thing of the Yu Gi Oh! Starter Deck Yu Gi Reloaded series. These are brand new decks that came out from Konami that got officially released a couple of, I think it may have been a couple of weeks ago. But I just recently found them in my card shop, so I'm going to show you exactly what's in them. So that's going to be kind of ghetto. Uh, don't mind the horrible piece, the camera caught. I don't know what's going on with my uh, camera right now. So yeah, I'm just going to. You can see me there. Yeah. <laughs> you can see two of me. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm a big motherfucker. <laughs> but pretty much, you get the case. This is pretty much it. Uh, standard guidebook as you always get so it's the Kaiba and Yugi series that restarted to pretty much just bring back all the cards that were pretty much famous from back then uh, game max showing you that you can get different uh, packs, starter decks uh, pretty much out of some dark magician how to protect them all stuff, card list there and uh, every single day, I've got like, so many of these you now. Is uh, the dual the uh, mats? Cool. So I'm pretty much just going to show you the exact same card. The cards that actually come in the deck. Some of them might be in the wrong order because I've actually been messing about with them and all that type of stuff. So to start off, we've got Dark Magician, and I think it's Ultimate Rare, and you get a second Dark Magician, which is pretty cool. It's the uh, reprint of the Dark Magician. But it's still cool to have a Dark Magician. Uh, Dark Magician Girl, which is the old school print. This is the f uh, first set of prints. It's not the secret or anything, this is the original prints, I think. Uh, Magician's Valkyrie. Uh, it was never used in a TV show that I believe it was in the movie. This was used. Starting with card Breaker the Magical Warrior. Never seen him get used. Don't know what he's like. You he try him out. Summon Skull, old school card, man, I remember the show. of this. This came in the original Yugi deck. Uh, Buster Blender, fucking fantastic card if you're going against a dragon deck. You basically get 500 attack points for every... Uh, every... Every dragon type monster your opponent controls or is in the graveyard. So even if you've got like four dragons on the field and like ten dragons in the graveyard, you're getting like stupid amount of points. They get 500 points for every card. Mystical Elf, um, one of the most well known cards. Giant Soldier of Stone, great card for defence by the way, these two. Uh, Neo the Magic Swordsman, Gemini Elf, Dark Blade, Karibo, I love the fuck out of Karibo, he's so funny, he's cute as fuck. Uh, four Star Lady Bug of Doom, good card by the way, it's a good flip effect. It's, uh, Destroy all level four monsters. All level four monsters. Your opponent controls. So if you have like five level four monsters, they're all pretty much doomed. If it's if this card's flipped, which is quite cool. Uh, we've got two uh, skilled white magicians. Pretty much what they do is every time a spell card is activated, you can place a spell counter on the card. And once you get three card, like three spell counters, you can special summon a Buster Blader from your hand, your deck, or your graveyard by sacrificing him and the th tokens. Two skilled dark magicians, pretty much the exact same thing but with a dark magician, the exact same rules to special summon them. Three spell counters, sacrifice him, yes, but you get a special summon dark magician from graveyard, hand or deck, which is quite cool. Uh, old vindictive magician, double costume, I actually really like this card because Pretty much, he's used as a. It's treat when you're special summoning a monster, it's classes two tributes instead of one, so it's a good way to summon Dark Magician right away. Uh, Silent Swordsman level three. We've got two of these in this deck. Uh, good cards. Good for a warrior deck, sort of thing. Uh, Silent Swordsman level five. Yellow, red, and green gadget cards. These are pretty much like the Alpha, Beta, and Man Maga. I think it was called the three cards that created the Valkyria, the magical the mis the machine knight pretty much. It's quite cool because these are quite nice cards, they've all got a good effect. If you draw one, like if you summon 
I mean, you pretty much special someone or someone you can draw some one of them. So if you've got millions of these, well, pretty good to just draw straight away. Electric Virus, never heard of this card, never seen this card, so I have no idea what it's like. It's tricky, I remember this card, I used to have this in my deck. It's a good card. Now to the magic cards, we have Dark Hole, Swords of Refueling Light, I remember this should be hard as fuck to get. Now you can get in pretty much any booster packs, I mean I've got like two of them. Uh, Black Pendant, Mage Power, Book of Moon, Mystical Stace, Space Typhoon, Thousand Knives, this is a pretty good card, pretty much if you if you have a, if you control a Dark Magician, pretty much you can target one monster on your opponent's side of the field and it gets destroyed, which is pretty cool. Uh, dark Magic Attack, if you have a Dark Magician you get to destroy all uh, magic and trap cards on, if, on your opponent's side of the field, so that's quite good as well for Dark Magician. Uh, Magical Dimension, this is an old card, that's fucking quite good. Uh, Ancient Rules, never seen the card, but the effect is pretty good. It's a uh, special summon, allowed one level 5 or higher monster, normal monster from your hand. So if you've got a Dark Magician or a high, like a Blue Eyes of Dragon or something, you could just play that straight away on your first turn if you've got it in your hand. Boom, there you go. Uh, Magician Tonight, so pretty much this works with Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. That the yeah, it gets 3,000 attack till the end phase, but the other magician that you choose not to give the power to, he won't be able to they won't be able to attack. So it's, it works, it's a fair enough card. Uh, Soul Taker, Shard of Greed, never seen this card, don't know what it's like. Uh, Magical Cil Magic Cylinder, I remember hunting forever to try to get this card, never could find it. Spellbinding Circle, another card that I hunted my childhood for it was a really good card, never managed to get it, but thanks to this deck I've got it. Uh, Trap Hole, an old school card. Wabuku, a card I've not seen since the very first set of Yugi and Kaiba decks, back in like 2003 or something like that. Uh, Mirror Force, I've got like three of these now, pretty good card, I think it's banned, not too sure. Uh, Call of the Haunted, good card to summon. Uh, monsters from the graveyard since Monster of Bomb got banned from tournament play and stuff like that. Uh, magic Miracle Restoring. Uh, if you remove two spell kernels, you can target a Dark Magician or Buster Blader from your graveyard and you can special summon it to the field, which is pretty cool. Uh, Zero Gravity, uh, some cards, somewhat of an old card. And Rising Energy, a card I've never heard of myself. So pretty much that is the 50, 50, 51 cards you get from the new Yugi deck. Hopefully I'll be getting my hands on a Kaiba deck soon. Um, Cause I know the Kaiba deck comes with two Blue Eyes with Dragons. You get a rare, you get an ultimate rare and a normal Blue Eyes with Dragon, which is quite cool. But I'm just gonna wrap up. I'm just pretty much gonna wrap up here. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. If you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, like you want to see my decks, you want to see different cards, when I'm doing unpacking, stuff like that, leave a comment down below, I'll see what I can do, and yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit me up on Twitter, if you've got any questions, hit me up on Twitter, I'll happily answer, but until the next time, I'll see you guys later, peace.